Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm super excited about this launch of my new online course, Cozy Watercolor Mushrooms. Excuse my voice, I just came over a intense but quick one week flu and so my voice is still a little bit here and there. So, it is actually raining outside and we had thunder just minutes before I started filming. So if you hear any thunder, then you know it's uh, it's definitely autumn here and what could be a perfect time to sit down find a cozy corner of your living space get some watercolors get a couple of pencils and just start painting maybe light a candle maybe have some fairy lights going something that's really cozy and warm and welcoming and relaxing and this is exactly what I have been doing. I enjoyed filming this course so, so much that I, uh, I hope you will enjoy it together with me. We will be looking at different parts of the mushroom, how mushrooms grow, their, their structure, their composition textures, color palettes, all of the fun stuff. In fact, we'll take a good bit of time to analyze all those aspects of mushrooms before we dive into creating the painting. There will be two finished paintings, one of which is the bonus video. And I did a little sneak peek on my Instagram. So if you haven't seen it yet, head to Aliona Creates. The whole point of the course is of course, mainly using watercolors and pencils just right at the end for a little bit of dimension, for a little bit of shadowing, for a little bit of texture. So mainly it is a watercolor course with a little bit of pencil just at the end. I will also show you beautiful watercolor techniques such as lifting, uh, how to create gorgeous highlights on the caps of the mushrooms, how to identify the source of the light, how to translate it into your painting. We will be doing wet into wet techniques and adding more depth, more drama, more color, sometimes more texture. Things like blending edges, that's of course an important watercolor technique that you need to practice to perfect with time. Blending, sometimes you really want a soft edge transitioning from one color to another. Sometimes you want a highlight transitioned into darker edge. So there could be an edge of a cup, for example, if we're talking about mushrooms, and then a light source hitting it. Sometimes it needs to be a hard line, but sometimes it needs to be a soft line. So we will be looking into blending techniques. And of course, as mentioned before, we will be creating texture using granulating and pigment separating watercolor techniques. I have a separate class within this course where I dedicate a good amount of time by showing you all of my favorite pigment separating watercolors, how I work with them and what are the properties of those colors. With all that said, I won't show you all of the content, of course, just a few little bits from the course and we will be discussing different styles, different illustrative styles of mushrooms. So there will be some that are more opaque using more pencils, for example, and then there will be more realistic mushroom illustrations that we will discuss. So all of those will have a slightly different style. I'll show you one more, but there is a lot more. So it is important to consider the color palette, of course, which we will do. I will also share with you my favorite red pencils from different brands that I use when illustrating my beloved Amanita Muscaria mushroom cup. There will be a range of warm toned, slightly cooler toned, middle range and dark range values pencils that just really make the mushroom cup pop. Of course, as always, I start with red watercolor base and I do with that type of illustration, I go in with the watercolor and just a little tiny bit 
of the pencil at the end. But like I said, there will be different styles of mushrooms that we will discuss that involve more pencil work, but I won't be showing the process to those. We will just be looking at some of the work that I have done towards this course. With all that said, you will have about two and a half hours of content in this course, two and a half hours of joyful mushroom painting and mushroom discussion and mushroom analyzing and mushroom adoration. So I'll show you two of the finished pieces of paintings that you will get from this online course. So you will have complete step-by-step -step tutorials. Is that what you call them in a course? It's a tutorial still, is it? <laughs> but you get the process for these two mushrooms. First, we start with this very colorful, very bright, slightly exaggerated and more fantasy-like mushrooms. So I want to show you how to illustrate mushrooms in your own vision, in your own color palette. And you can be still inspired by the poisonous mushroom color palette, which has a lot of those colors actually, but you can still create a stylized look. And then of course we will move on to Amanita muscaria. And I just love painting this mushroom anytime, <laughs> any day. And uh, it's uh, it's got less pencil detailing than here. And it is easier in a way to create because we will be using one of those pigment separating watercolors that will help us in the finishing look. So we don't need to use any pencils in the end. So I just used a little bit of pencil on the cup and then I will also share with you my design to ground the mushroom. So that is it. Where have I been looking all this time? Have I been looking into there rather than at you? I'm so sorry. I blame my flu hat. I hope you had a good idea of what this course is all about. It is available on Alona Creates in my Teachable Online School. I will link everything down below. But if you head to my website, alonacreates.com, you'll find everything under one roof. So if you're interested in anything else, things like current handmade watercolors that I have available to purchase, then everything will be there and you can search through everything in one place. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you there and I hope to be painting some of those mushrooms together with you. See you there.